Today's plumbing project. I've got a leaky drain flange here in the tub on our 1988 Avion 34X that I need to remove. If this was in a, a home, if it was a home tub with a home drain flange, oftentimes down here in the bottom where you see this round hole, there are actually in an X pattern, there's metal crossbars. And there are tools that you can get which will go down into that X pattern, lock in place, and then you just basically get a wrench and you can sit there and ratchet the drain out from the pipe that's down beneath the tub. In cases where you don't have that X happening down here to grab a tool, you can get one of these. This is basically a drain flange remover. It's got knurling around the edges. So when I pound it down in here, I stick a half inch socket in and I can crank it out. And that's that. That's if it was in a home. The problem is here in a trailer, there is no fixed pipe underneath the tub to hold that drain flange in place. It's basically held in place by a nut, which threads on on the other side of the bottom of the tub, comes up from the bottom and holds it in place. And then this piece right here, this right here, actually attaches to the bottom of the threaded part of the flange down here. So we're going to go down below and I'll show you what we're looking at. You get down underneath the tub and you can see the drain flange sticking out. This is the base of it here and you can see that nut securing it to the bottom of the tub is what actually holds this in place. So I have to hold this secure from the bottom while I ratchet from the top to back this thing out. Here's how I'm going to do it. Under normal circumstances you'd be able to either ratchet on that note or at least hold it in place with one of these. It's basically like a plumber's wrench it fits a bunch of different size nuts. This is a two inch, I think this is an inch and three quarters, two and a half here. You can put in uh, three eighths or half inch sockets to drive it and turn it and hold it in place. The problem that I have is that that nut is actually in a recessed area on the bottom of the tub. So I can't get this thing in straight because it's actually like up. And of course, the manufacturer buried the drain all the way at the back of the tub instead of putting it up at the front where it would have made sense. So how am I going to get in there, get it out, this bad boy. This is a two inch socket, it's a three quarter inch drive, it's got a uh, three quarter to half inch step down and I've attached it to a breaker bar. But uh, it's going to be kind of a trick getting it in there and putting it on the nut and holding it in place while I work from up above because this is so long. I'm not actually sure if it's going to fit, so let's see what happens. Okay, this uh, brass crap drain nut remover here actually did come in handy. I'm using it to kind of wedge my breaker bar against the floor. That socket with a little extension on it is so huge that it just barely fits into that space. And this thing right here should hold it against the nut and then I can ratchet from up top. All right, here goes nothing. Yeah, it actually worked. Can't believe it. Okay, just got back from Lowe's and they had exactly what I needed. You can see this is the old flange here. This is the new one. And there's that X that I was talking about down on the bottom. 
Now this particular flange is the same depth as the original and they had some tub flanges there which this threaded part was actually a little bit longer and because I was kind of concerned that it wasn't going to fit I got this which is a like I said it's a bar sink drain flange it doesn't have one of those fancy tub pop-up stopper things that goes in the center there so that you can plug it up but the thing is, that's just one more thing that corroded and broken, so we go old school if we need to plug up the tub. Let's get a rubber plug, put it in there. Plus, we hardly ever use the tub. We're more likely to use the shower, and this way I can put this little basket in here, and that will catch any hair that might happen to fall out. And the other stuff that comes, like here's the little strainer that came with the bar sink drain flange got a rubber stopper which goes up from the underneath side up against the base of the tub and this threads on goes in between here uh, goes in between here and the bottom of the tub this step here is just additional stuff that if you were hooking it up to plumbing but again because we have the p-trap where this piece right here threads on to the bottom of the drain flange like that that's basically all I need and uh, as you can see, I need to clean up that drain hole there, get the old plumber's putty off, and uh, get started on getting the new stuff in there. All right, I put a bead of plumber's putty on the underside of the flange. Honestly, I've never done this before. I don't know if that's too much. If it's not enough, I don't know. I figured I put too much in, and if it all squishes out, I can always clean it better. Too much and not enough. So we're going to put this in place in the hole. I'll squish it down. Yeah, I can already see it's starting to gush out the sides. It's fine. I'll just clean it up after I'm done. That way I make sure I got enough. Well, this is that funny little tool I was talking about. It looks like a big pickle fork. This slides down in here. It's what you can use to turn the drain. Now, because I'm going to have to get underneath the tub and thread on the nut and the washer, I'm going to try doing this with one hand. I'll put this in place and hopefully as I start turning from down below, that'll hold it in place. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to give it a shot and see what happens. And then I'll probably do the finish, uh, final tightening from up top. All right, here goes. All right. I took the nut and screwed it on from down below. It's secured in place. But now I need to really tighten the flange down into it. So I rigged up that kind of Rube Goldberg setup I had with a 2-inch socket down below to hold the nut in place while I turn from above. And then we'll see what happens here. squishing out but, oh sounds like my nut came down underneath let me go down there and fix that all right tighten things back up downstairs tight enough and just come in here clean out the plumber's putty and voila so that 
probably over applied by twice, but at least I got enough in there now. So now all I have to do is go down below, hook this thing back up, and I should be in business. Thought I'd show you what it looks like down underneath now that everything's been hooked up. If you scoot in here, you can see there's the bottom of the drain flange. You can see the rubber washer. We're all threaded up. And then the drain comes out over here. Tease in, and then this is the vent pipe that goes up to the top of the trailer. The other end goes down into the gray water tank. So that's the complete hookup. Figured I'd give you guys a payoff. Thanks for watching.